Since the top of our roof does not meet at a perfect right angle, we will need to create a miter joint at the top of the roof. To do this, use the same technique as before. Take a construction line and make two construction lines parallel to each face of the roof. Zoom in until you can see the intersection of the two construction lines and both of the roof faces. Highlight the top roof edge and click the move command. Click on the end point of the line and move it up to the intersection point. Do the same for the other side. Click move, end point, to intersection. You can erase these construction lines as you don't need them anymore. Next, I want to add detail to my model. I want to create an entranceway about here and a perch about here. I'm going to use a circle tool and find the midpoint of my base. I'm going to refer up and follow the blue dotted line. So it will be in the center of the birdhouse. To set the height, I'll move over to the base of my roof and refer to the right. If I did this correctly, the two dotted lines should meet. And I'll see that I have a green dotted line and a blue dotted line that meet in the center. I'll use this for the center of my circle. Click and then move the circle out to set the radius. I'll use a half of an inch. To make the entrance, I'll simply push-pull this in until it has a zero width, and the program will automatically erase the face. Finally, I want to create my perch. I'll make a construction line at the base, then I'll move it up to the bottom of my circle. Since I want the perch to be half an inch below, I'll simply click the move command and move it down in the blue direction, then I'll type in one half of an inch. I'll use this for the center of my perch, along with the reference from the base. I'll move up until it hits the intersection of the construction line. I'll move this over and type in a quarter of an inch for the base of my perch. Again, erase the construction line so it doesn't confuse you later. Finally, I'm going to push pull the perch out by 7 eighths of an inch and I have an entranceway and a perch to my birdhouse. The last final step. There are a couple lines left over from push pull and you simply want to erase them. As long as they're attached to coplanar surfaces, your model will not be damaged when you erase them. Once I have them all, I can return to a neutral view and look at my results. Congratulations, this is a tough project. You now know all of the basic features of SketchUp. Feel free to explore around the program for yourself, and don't forget to save your work.